everybody. This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we are in John chapter 3. I'm going to read verses 31 through 32. Remember, John at this point is having a dialogue with his disciples, and he has just pointed out that that Jesus is increasing and he's going to decrease. Then he says to his guys, he who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. So, I talk to guys all over the country and the world all the time, and you can tell where a man is from by just listening to him. For example, if a man is from Boston, you can tell he's from Boston. Or if a man is from New Orleans, you can tell he's from New Orleans. But you can discover even more about him by asking him just a few more details about where in the city he lives and where he works and his experiences there. And we do this pretty naturally all the time. This is a pretty natural dialogue. In fact, there are men out there who do this with me all the time. They usually ask me where I'm from, and I typically say the Twin Cities area. If they know the area, then they'll usually ask which city, and so I tell them White Bear Lake. And if they know White Bear Lake, then I typically explain where on the lake I'm located. And then they have this like point of reference for who I am and where I live and how I spend my time. And if the dialogue continues, I usually learn something about them too, like their travel or their work or their family in the Twin Cities area. Now, we do this all the time, right? It's pretty natural. And that's what's happening in this book here. The Gospel of John is evidence and understanding about Jesus. And John presents all this mountain of evidence about who Jesus was and what he did and where he is from. But we have to remember, John is especially concerned about proving where Jesus is from. And in this text, he does it three times in three ways. First, John the Apostle, who's writing the story down, testifies about what he saw and experienced as he followed Jesus as proof that he was from heaven. Second, John the Baptist, who John the Apostle is writing about, testifies about what he saw and experienced as he encountered Jesus as his proof he was from heaven. And then third, Jesus testifies about what he saw and experienced firsthand in heaven to prove he was from heaven. And what is interesting about this text is that John the Baptist proclaims a statement at the end that says this, no one receives his testimony, which is a little mind-blowing because you would never do this to me. I mean, if I told you I was from White Bear Lake, Minnesota, you would blindly accept this. You would especially believe me if I could explain even just a few details about White Bear Lake. Yet Jesus, over the next three years of ministry, is going to explain things about heaven and do things only someone from heaven could do, and yet they still don't believe. And note, the people who choose not to believe are primarily religious people. They are religious leaders who study about the kingdom of heaven all the time and proclaim to know all the details about heaven. So, Here's my thought for you today. If you are sitting on the fence about who Jesus is and where he's from, let me ask you this. Why did you so easily accept my testimony today that I'm from White Bear Lake, Minnesota? Why? Why did you accept that? When actually I'm not. I'm from Matamida, a city that borders the edge of White Bear Lake. So I gave you very little testimony and told you a lie about where I'm from, and you believed it. And Jesus, in the New Testament, provides us with a mountain of historical and eyewitness evidence that is truthful down to the last detail, and we don't. Why? Just think about that. Why? I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you today, caused some reflection for you. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.